What is up with my gang? What is up with my squad? T gang in this thing. What's poppin' with y'all? What's up, T gang? Welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing a reaction to the real reason 007 Nate killed 051 Melly in front of everybody. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I did a reaction to 051 Melly. I found out he came to a party and I believe the dude Nate and his baby mom and his kid i know he had a kid i'm not sure if the kid no actually i don't think the kid was there because it was at a party i guess 051 melly pretty much pressed nate somebody turned around and then i guess that's when nate killed melly so smash the like button comment something you want to see below and subscribe and click the bell and join the gang if you're new then definitely subscribe because we're going nowhere but uh, follow me on my social medias definitely follow me on my instagram the real underscore is tania's world and follow me on my tiktok is tania's world i'm actually i want to learn what happened and why he did it because i mean i'm pretty sure it's like gang stuff and it could be something personal i want to know i'm pretty sure y'all want to know if y'all watching this video so let's learn together because i want to I, I mean they didn't even go into detail in that video of uh 051 melly so i want to know the real reason why let's learn what happened let's learn what happened Know it's super power low? on Melly got shot where everyone was at a house party. His killer was at first stated as an unknown gunman until later after police's investigation when Nate was arrested as Melly's killer. Now there's a video stating the real reason why Nate murdered 051 Melly in the presence of everybody. You can't find the video for confirmation because it's already been deleted, which makes everything said in that video believable. Before we discuss this latest story, you have to be reminded that a lot of us thought Melly's death was gang related, though it could still be gang related. Also, that was the second time Melly would be facing something similar. He was there when Mubu Crump was murdered the same way, at a house party. Melly was even here, but he survived while Crump died, a year before Melly died. I'm reminding you of all this so you can come to a conclusion based on what you think about all of this and not because of someone else's Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be very upset if this is just like his assumption. Like this better be like some realistic stuff. People from Chicago, I know y'all got my back and y'all is gonna eventually let me know if what he's saying is true or not. So y'all better let me know if this is true or not because it sounds like this video is probably gonna be his assumption. Assumption. Also, be reminded of the type of person Melly was. He was a member of a Black Disciples gang and a member of the 051 Young Money gang. He's regarded as one of the gang's top hitters with multiple hits being credited to him. Meaning he was a man known for dropping a lot of people for the gang or for his reason. Before we start the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you would like to join this month's giveaway of one of these items on the screen, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video to the end to comment the hidden keyword. Good luck. The first thing to note is that a lot of people would be scared of someone like Melly. Someone who's not afraid to take lives. Someone who wouldn't bat an eye to shoot others. He was that crazy and he's got so much confidence in his skills and his experience. Why did I say that? During a live video chat with Bezu, a rival gang member of THF 46, Melly told him if killing wasn't illegal, he'd spit on him when he's done. Bezu is a notorious member of the Black Disciples set, THF 46. THF 46 is one of 051 Young Money's biggest rivals. He was on a live video and he could boast of that shit. I mean, Melly was not an easy target for anyone. But you know, I always say when it comes to the street, don't believe you're indomitable. No matter how big you are, no matter how great you are, you can't be too comfortable because someone somewhere is looking for every means to bring you down. Some people must be happy with Melly then and some will never cool with him. Think of those he has murdered and those he was a threat to. So his death day came and he was shot to death while attending a party in Gyro City in memory of fallen SDLUBT member Can't Get Right. Oh, okay. I never knew what he looked like. I never knew what he looked like. So it's a good thing that I am seeing what he looked like because I, I only heard like two in two videos. I did a reaction and his name came up, but I had no Oh, wait a minute. Okay, the first reaction, I think that was the reaction I did. No, I think it was Get Back Gang. I think. I don't know. I've been doing so many freaking Chicago reactions at this point. I don't remember what video I heard his name in, but his voice, I mean his voice. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? His name popped up in one of those videos. And 
Muna Duke. I'm still not sure if I'm saying his name correctly because that's the video that's getting posted today. And Muna Duke's song, I know my freaking thing. My whatever, my computer ain't charging. Uh, Muna Duke's song, Winning. I think they said something about can't get right in the beginning of the song, but I did not know what he looked like. On camera by Travis, one of the members in attendance. Speculations of who killed him became a hot topic, and you can easily believe that it was gang related with no other factor considered because of Travis's death. Less than a month after Melly's death, Travis, who recorded him getting shot, was shot and killed while he was on Facebook Live with his Dang. sister. Oh, Though it was man. initially believed that he was killed as retaliation by 051, it was later revealed he was killed as a result of a personal beef. Before Melly's death, TW and 051 weren't seen as mortal enemies, though they had their issues with each other. After Melly's death, we can believe that the relationship reached a point where they could no longer be on friendly terms, of course. Now, this guy came out to make a video revealing a lot of secrets about why Nate killed Melly and all. Even though the video was taken down the day it was uploaded, some facts were recorded. It all started with a dice game. Of course, it involves money. Who plays a dice game without putting a bet on it? And anyone who bets should know that it can lead to something else entirely. Something that's not included in the rules of the game. So Nate and Melly were both involved in a single game which required Nate to eventually pay Melly. Guess he lost to him, but Nate didn't have money. Who plays dice games without having money? Anyone who wants to bet on a game should have money, right? Maybe Nate believed so much in his skills that he forgot he could lose, so he held no money. You know, Melly isn't an easy man. He's not that cool to overlook such, so he started asking Nate for his money. And Nate kept postponing his payday. I guess it took a long while that it seems Nate. Nate wasn't going to pay him back, so Melly took a violent step. He went into Nate's crib and shot into him repeatedly. What? Because of money? <laughs> That was what I asked too, but I got no answer to that. That day, Nate's baby mama and his kid were in the crib. I want to believe that Melly was not aware of Nate's baby mama and his kid's presence that day because his target mainly was Nate. He was the one owing him, not his kid or baby mama. The reason why Melly did what he did is still unknown. Don't know if it was just for the money Nate owed him or if there was another reason for that. No matter how much you think about it, if he had the intention of killing Nate because of his money, then that's petty and stupid. The last time I checked, corpses don't pay the debt. Unless there's another reason for shooting at his crib, he shouldn't do it for his money. The crazy thing is you never can tell. Power intoxicates. Sometimes you can't control it, and it makes you do a lot of things that you shouldn't do. So it could be because he felt he had a kind of power over Nate, and he wanted to show him that, so he did it by making it rain in his place. Nate is a young guy who must have known that he shouldn't be messing with someone like Melly. Not paying Melly's money and provoking him like that might involve some of his friends. He should know that he needed to have money. Okay, to so I have a question. So y'all know your girl ain't from Chicago, so I want to know. I know King Von don't get along with 05 on Melly. Because 05 on Melly is cool with, I think he's cool with Uzi. I'm not sure. But I, I want to know if 05 on Melly and double, I'm going to just say double 07. I want to know why are they not cool like is it two different gangs like is it another gang that i don't know about like how how many gangs not not even talking about what i just asked y'all but how many gangs is in chicago so i know like how many more people i'm gonna be like oh that person ain't cool oh five one million or this person ain't cool uh king von i'm just learning about oh uh double seven nate so i don't know if there's any more videos about him but if there is some more videos and I start reacting to him, I want to know why people ain't cool with him. Where are the two from? Best game. And when it comes to someone like Melly, you should not owe him at all or not owe him for too long. I'm sure he's aware, but still, he didn't pay him and it didn't look like he was going to pay him. You know, some of his friends might make him believe Melly was going to do nothing to him. The more I think about it, the more I realize that Nate's folks have something to do with the trouble he got himself into. They probably pretended to care about Nate when they don't, because they could have gathered money for Nate amidst themselves and pay Nate's debt if they wanted nothing bad to happen to him. But nah, instead, they watched him take crazy steps. Even his baby mama was mentioned to be part of his troubles, which is reasonable. After Melly shot Nate's crib, she would pressurize Nate to do something about he it. He was a and hot mess. want their men cowering about, so she would talk to his senses to show Melly that he's a man too. Of course, she would be infuriated because her baby was in there too, and they could have been hit or hurt. But thankfully, none of them was hurt at the least. 
Nevertheless, anyone would have felt bad to have experienced such. But that still doesn't mean you should punish someone to the early grave just because you want to prove something to someone who's never going to listen. What if Melly was ready and Nate died in his stead? What would have happened unless she didn't care about him low key? Also, Nate didn't want to pay that money because he should have at least feared that his kid and baby mama could get hurt for real. He should have borrowed from yeah. someone else at least to save himself and his family or do some petty jobs to pay for it. I don't know how much that money is, but come on, if he wanted to pay, he would have at least done something about it. So many factors joined forces to push Nate into killing Melly. He allowed words to get into his head and accepted the offer of finishing Melly for good from whoever advised him to do that. He didn't even put it in the presence of everyone. My question is, did he forget about jail? Did he have a wish to spend nope. his life behind bars? If he did it for his baby mama, does he not want to spend a good time with them? I mean, for whatever reason, that wasn't wise at all. Or was it even a plot to get rid of both Melly and Nate? Because on the day Melly was killed, you know, he attended that house party with Jaro City members and FBG Duck. Melly was told to be careful because rivals could secretly be at the party. He was warned to be careful, which means they sent something already, or some things must have happened before the party that we don't know about. Or maybe Melly's ego got him killed because he was warned and I find it crazy to know that Melly didn't care. I guess he saw himself as someone who couldn't be killed, shot, or whatever. He probably should have known better, but the way he escaped death while Mubu Crump was murdered. He managed to escape, that's a message to him, yo, you can get killed. But Melly, he was like, whatever, and he kept celebrating. Not until Nate ended his clips on him in front of everyone. From the way Nate killed Melly, you could tell that he was scared. He did everything necessary to make sure Melly ceased to exist by shooting him continuously. He intended to finish it for good, which is reasonable since he decided to take the step anyway. Because if he didn't end Melly's life, he sure would have been in deep trouble. Not only him, but his entire family, friends, and the gang as well. So he made sure that the job was done. Now, what did that get him? Melly ended up six feet under while he's behind bars. If you think about it, it's not... I don't know how to handle... I don't know how I would handle that situation. You didn't pay him the money from the dice game. Then you shoot him. I don't know. I don't think I would have shot. But then that's probably... That is probably personal then. If he has to shoot him, it was either money involved. If that was me, I probably would have hired somebody or something. So... I could still be there for my kid, but I don't know. I don't know. Cause like, let's say somebody told the dude, Nate, like, if you kill him, I'll pay the money back. But he did now. So how, in the, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm really trying to figure this out. Cause it seems like this is just an assumption type of video. But we gonna get back to this video. That would only lead to more bloodshed because there'd be more retaliation from the other gang members. After all, Melly is an old member of 051 Young Money and also their trusted shooter. It's a great loss to the gang. This is why anyone on the street should help themselves by being safe in any possible way. Don't think that no one can get you because of those you have behind you or because of the power you have or for the number of people you have dropped. It's a crazy world out there. Anyone can die at any time. You may have more information about this that I didn't mention. Feel free to share it with me in the comment section. Yeah. This is what I've gathered so far about the reasons why Nate shot Melly in the presence of everyone. Let me know what you think about the whole situation. Do you think Melly did the right thing by shooting at Nate's crib to threaten him or for whatever reason? Do you think Nate was brave or stupid for ending Melly's life and the way he did it? Let me get your answers in the comment section. And hey you. Yeah you. You like the video? Okay. I still think that it was probably somebody said it has to be money. It has to be. That's the only thing I'm thinking for. And it, dang, that's messed up. See, that that's what's messed up about killing somebody. Cause it's like, what if somebody offering you money, and you like, I could really use that money. Now you gotta hope and pray to cops so that nobody discovered that it was you that killed that person. Cause now you now you on the run for the rest of your life. So it's like you kill this person and you get caught. Then you gotta spend the rest of your life in jail. Or you kill this person and you don't get caught and then you wanna run for the rest of your life. That that's why that's why there's considered crash dummies. You get a crash dummy. I still think it was over money. I'ma just I, I strongly believe that. I don't know. I don't I don't know if it was something else, but I think it was for money. Let me know in the comments down below if it was for money because i feel i got this gut feeling somebody gonna watch this video and they're gonna be like they gonna know what i mean don't don't snitch in the comments now but i want to know 
was it for money? I don't want to know the whole story. I just want to know if it was for money. But smash the like button, comment something you want to see below, and subscribe and click the bell and join the gang. If you're new, then definitely subscribe because we're going nowhere but up. Follow me on my social medias. Definitely follow me on my Instagram, the real underscore is Tania's world. And follow me on my TikTok, it's Tania's world. Till next time, remember it's T-Gang or no gang. We out.